With the recent really severe weather conditions, it's been difficult to keep your car on the road. Um, you might have found that you've come home from the train station in the evening and your car's stuck in the car park and you can't get it out. Um, one company called Autosock have come up with this alternative to winter tyres. The auto socks are basically a set of covers for the driven wheels. So on my car, they'll just go on the front two wheels. Um, they're made largely out of Kevlar, and the aim is just to give you a decent amount of grip on the snow. Um, the one shortcoming is that once you get onto gritted roads, you do need to take them off, otherwise they'll just shred and fall apart. Pulling away and driving around corners can be hazardous in the snow. It's really common for a car to lose grip and slide, possibly into another vehicle. In our controlled test, we took the bend at less than 20 miles an hour in second gear. We weren't trying to spin the car's wheels and we were taking precautions, but we couldn't stop it from skidding into the kerb. In theory, auto socks are easy to fit. Simply slide the sock over the top half of the tyre, roll the car forwards so you can pull on the other half. In reality, it took four rolls backwards and forwards to get the socks fully onto the tyres. Okay, right, we've got the auto socks on now. Um, they weren't that easy to get on. We had to drive the car backwards and forwards a few times to get them on both sides. Um, but they've got elastic on the back, so they do sort of hold on quite neatly and snugly. According to the manufacturer, they'll centre themselves a bit better once they're on and you're driving as well, which would be good. Um, what we're going to do now is try the same corner again and see if they help us grip a lot better. According to Auto Sock, its snow socks use friction to improve grip. They're made from a hairy fabric that sticks to the snow, and the more you use them, the hairier it becomes. The fibres are arranged at a right angle to the direction of travel to maximise grip. There was a noticeable improvement in grip with the snow socks fitted. The Renault didn't slide into corner, it braked better, and it was easier to manoeuvre. Pulling the snow socks off is a two-person job, and there's a knack to it. Don't try and pull the fabric out from the inside of the wheel, as this is painful and ineffective. Instead, yank repeatedly on the straps, first on one side and then on the other, and the socks should pop off fairly easily. Well, it seems like they work. We've tried them in a couple of tests here. We've just done pulling away in first and second gear and stopping, and they really stop skidding, not completely, but a great deal, and they make the car much more controllable than it was without them. We paid £50 for our snow socks, which is a lot more reasonable than a set of winter tyres. But the drawback with them is that as soon as you come off the snow, so if you head onto a gritted road, you need to take them off straight away, otherwise this sort of thing is going to rip and shred and then they'll be no good to you at all. We bought our snow socks from roofbox.co.uk. We've also seen them on sale at Vauxhall dealerships. To find out more winter driving tips, visit witch.co.uk cars.